All right, what's up, Lions fans? It's your boy, man. We back again. Man, what a what a couple of days it's been. Uh, Lions were eliminated from playoff contention with the loss to the Tennessee Titans on Sunday. And I just took yesterday to kind of reflect. You know, I made a video on Sunday saying that I would no longer be watching any Lions games. And I'm split down the middle on how I feel. You know, in one regard, I'm really sad and I'm really disappointed. And on the other, on the other hand, I'm relieved. I'm relieved, and, and it got me thinking. Uh, I woke up yesterday morning, and I saw a tweet from Everson Griffin. He was just feeling some type of way, I guess, and uh, he literally said, basically, bring the smoke. He was feeling some type of way, and from I don't know for about six hours, he just went back and forth with fans. Lions fans, Minnesota fans, it didn't matter. And he responded to, from what I saw, every message that I saw, he responded to. So, I mean, people was coming for from with some smoke, and he was coming right back at them. And it got me thinking, like, you know, how do players feel? How do players feel when you've been playing the game for as long as he has, or Matthew Stafford has, or Danny Amendola, any of these guys? And at if there's a point where you still have a job to do, but there's no reason to do it. You know what I mean? It's, it's like I equate it to you're, you're not going to get paid, but you've got to go to work. You know, let's say you give somebody your two week notice. You give your employer your two week notice. And from that moment on, they don't have to pay you, but you go to work. And, you know, it's like, as a fan, it's tough. It's tough. And, and I think about the players, but I don't think about the players like I do the fan base. You know what I'm saying? Because they've got millions of dollars and they're still connected with football all year round. We just might not see it, but you've got all these different situations where you've got leading up to the, the start of the season. Like, if I'm not mistaken, they only get a, a, maybe a month or two off and then it's right back at it. And I don't know what's going to happen this year with COVID and that whole scenario, but it, it, it kind of got me thinking, like, how, do a, how does a player feel? You know, especially one that's been on a, a winning franchise, has been part of a winning organization. And as a Detroit Lions fan, it's tough because we are super used to losing. I actually am going to put a screenshot in my stories, if I can copy it, from Facebook. And it is from yesterday. No, it's from, it's from Sunday. Six years ago, 2014. The Lions finished 11-5 and five that year. And they wind up facing Dallas in the first round of the playoffs. I think they were the sixth seed at the time and they had to go face number three, which was Dallas. And um, it was just, it was depressing, man, because I remember that year like it was yesterday. You know, we went into Dallas and we didn't really know if we had a chance and Lions get out on top and pretty much led the entire game. And we all know how, how the game turned out. But as a fan, it's frustrating. But what is it like as a player to you work all year to be in the dance? And let's be honest, man, anything short of a Super Bowl, you really didn't accomplish your ultimate goal. But you can have you can have lesser goals. You know what I mean? Like you can make it to the playoffs. And the Detroit Lions were to make it to the playoffs. Now, some some fans would be like, well, the goal this year was to get more than six wins. And we're not even going to do that. It's, it's almost mathematically impossible to get, you know, more than six wins. We've got to win both of the next two games, and that's Minnesota and Tampa Bay. So the best the Lions can finish is seven and nine and I think it's ironic that 
nine and seven wasn't good enough, but Matt Patricia couldn't even muster nine wins in one season. It's just, it's a hot mess. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video now because this dude behind me and his lights are flashing, but let me know in the comments below, man. You feel like Everson Griffin. If you haven't seen it, go look at his tweets, man. It is not for the faint of heart. I mean, this dude was going off and fans was going off back. It was, it was almost, you could tell for him, it was therapeutic, you know what I mean? So take a look at the at the uh, Twitter, Everson Griffin's Twitter handle, and uh, check it out, man. Leave in the comments below. How do you feel as a Lions fan or any fan knowing that your, your team is playing with literally nothing to play for? The only thing that could happen is TJ Hawkinson, Matthew Stafford, DeAndre Swift could get a career-altering injury, like a Joe Burrow-type injury. We don't even know if he's going to play next year. So... It's almost like not worth it. And I wish, I, I'm going to be honest with you, man. The NFL, I wish they could, they'll never do this because of money. But they should have it where, I mean, where it's, it's too risky to finish the season. Because let's be honest, we all saw what happened to Myers, man, the practice squad dude. You don't want to throw a bunch of practice squad guys out there because then the quality would be garbage. And I don't want anybody to get hurt. But who wants to watch a game with, Chase Daniel and and uh, Myers I don't so but anyway guys uh, I feel like this offseason is going to be particularly long because of the the unknown you know what I mean I feel like COVID you always felt you were going to get football I did but we don't know like are we going to be in the stands will we get 17 games Will, Matt, will Matthew Stafford be here? What is what is the head coach? It's just a lot, man. So, but anyway, you guys be safe, man, and take care.